Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by CockroachZone.com. As the title suggests, today we'll be talking about the rather interesting topic of what happens if you squash a cockroach. Well, while that question could have a very obvious answer, there's a bit more to it than that. One thing involves urban legends. There is some that suggest that if you squash a cockroach, that uh, its eggs will release, allowing more to hatch. Another legend says that a crushed roach will release pheromones that attract other roaches, meaning they will bring more roaches to your property, to your home. Before we take a closer look at this very interesting topic, let's take a look at this topic overview. If you squish a cockroach, it will die. These insects do release a pheromone upon death, but it's a warning, not an invitation. Cockroaches will try to avoid other dead roaches, unless they're starving. Aside from that, stepping on roaches will not release eggs. They won't release eggs. Very few species carry their eggs with them, and if one does, the eggs will get crushed with the mother. So, as you can tell, this is one of the more gross, I wouldn't say gro gross topics you'll ever see, so we'll try to make this as quick as possible just for the sake of everyone and for the, the, the sake of the education, but the sake of uh, your stomach. And as you can probably hear, this is more of a conversational video than what you're used to. But uh, let's get started. And before we do, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for visiting CockroachZone.com. Thank you for your participation and your interest in this YouTube channel. None of this would be possible without your interest and without your support. So thank you very much. Our first subheading is, do cockroaches die when you step on them? Well, yes, that would be the most, most obvious answer. But here again, just like this topic as a whole, there's a bit more to it than meets the eye. Well, I think we can all relate to perhaps maybe stepping on a cockroach on a carpet. Well, the carpet gives. So when you step on the roads, there's not much force on your foot. But I think a lot of people have had the experience of you step on a roach, lift your foot, it's still running, right? It's still moving. You step on it again, it's still going. Seems like you just can't kill them. Well, if you're trying to chase down a roach, things can get a little bit hairy because you can't really maybe navigate all the areas that a roach navigates. So, you know, once you once you can, you have to put a little force behind it to kill it. Well, on the surface, you would think, why do I have to put so much force on my foot just to kill a cockroach? Well, that takes us to our next subheading. Why didn't my shoe crush the roach? Well, roaches have an exoskeleton or a shell. That's why, and brace yourselves, here again, not the most pleasant uh, topic within this topic of cockroaches, that pop. We, we've all probably heard the pop when you crush a cockroach. Well, that's the exoskeleton essentially exploding. This is the reason why they are so tough to kill, tough to squash. Um, one interesting fact is that cockroaches can handle between 300 and 900 times their own body weight, and they can squeeze through a four millimeter crevice. We, we mentioned earlier how it, they can get away from you. They're easy to get away from. So not only are they sturdy and can withstand so much weight, they're flexible. And this is very impressive considering how we view cockroaches, right? Well, our next subheading, does squashing a cockroach kill it? Here again, it all depends. If it's done right, it will end the cockroach's life immediately. However, roaches... They do have a way of playing dead. Uh, they're, they're sort of masters at it. Uh, it's their way to protect themselves. Um, here again, the popping sound is the exoskeleton cracking. And uh, what does it look like, right? What does a, a squished cockroach look like? I mean, we've all seen it, but I'll address these few sub points. You will see pieces of the cracked exoskeleton. Droppings or particles from the roach itself, crushed organs, uh, dismembered limbs, and the antenna. Uh, if you crush a roach and you see little, I'll just call them little things, you know, from your standing position, you can't really examine it up close, then chances are the roach is dead. Um, if you squish only half a cockroach, uh, it's interesting because cockroaches do have two brains. Uh, one is in their head and one is in the posterior area. Uh, the one in the head is in charge of uh, limb, re uh, limb regeneration, senses, memory, hormonal secretions, um, reproductive behavior. And the one towards the rear is responsible for sexual activity or turtle instincts, triggering apparent death behavior, as we talked about playing dead and sensory, inf uh, sensory information. So this is why it's important just to squish the whole roach. 
if for no other reason than just the visual, you know, you don't want to see a crushed cockroach that appears to be still alive in some capacity. That's just, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to handle a roach, just be sure you handle it. If for no other reason than your own visual <laughs> in your own stomach, you know, get it, get it done. Um, so the other subtopics deal with what if you crush it on a roach on its head? Well, as we talked about the, the two different, um, the two different brains, if you crush it on the rear, what that will cause here again, two different brains, the, 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 the back side, the more primitive side is the sexual activity, the maternal instincts, uh, the, the behaviors of playing dead. And, uh, here again, with that myth of, does it release the eggs? Um, uh, it is a popular myth. This can leave people afraid to, to smash one because they'll afraid, Oh, I've killed one, but I've released the egg. So now I'm going to have a problem. Um, you know, it's, a, it's just a myth. I don't know where this myth began, but if you kill a cockroach, step on a cockroach, uh, they do not release their eggs um, because most roaches don't actually carry their eggs. And of course, stepping on a roach completely will also kill the eggs, right? You're crushing everything. So if you're crushing the roach, you are also crushing the eggs. And stepping on a roach does not attract more roaches. Um, they do release a pheromone. Uh, dead roaches do release a pheromone, but that is not a signal to call others into the area. It's a signal to send roaches away. So if you kill one roach, that's a good thing more than what just the obvious, because it's sending a message to other roaches. Hey, don't come here. You could end up like me. So you kill one roach, you might uh, deter possibly thousands. So here again, this topic is a little bit different. That's why I'm taking a bit of a different approach in this video as to how I'm going about it from a presentation standpoint. But that is what happens if you squash a roach. Here again, as always, if you would like to know more information, uh, please visit us at cockroachzone.com. There you'll find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to this very topic. If you are currently watching us off-site, please click the initial link in the description box below. That link will take you to the article in question. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for watching this and bearing, bearing through this very interesting topic, and until our paths cross again, we will talk to you later.